Now I've got that roll cage out, I'm going to have to weld up all the holes. So I'll have, we'll have a look at the holes. So we've got these holes here where it was mounted um, above these rear wheel arches. So there's three holes there, same over on that corner. We've got some holes down here that are going to need welding up. Same on the other side, and there's some holes down there in the passenger side floor pan. So there's some holes down here on this side, passenger side, and they're going to be a bit of a pain in the back side because they're right near some fuel pipes. So there's a fuel filter, fuel filter rather, um, fuel pipes, and you can see up there there's the holes. Um, so they're going to be a bit of a pain in the backside um, to weld really um, or rather not very nice to weld because of where they are yeah lovely job anyway best get the welder out and um get these bloody holes welded up.
that's all the holes welded up now and I've started masking up inside ready for paint so it's going to need a good hoover out inside you can see there's lots of um, bits of grind in there and there's going to be some filler dust in there because I've filled um, over the top of the holes just to smooth them um, over a bit just to make a bit of a neater job um, I'll give them a sand down before I paint to put a bit of primer on first obviously So in case you're wondering why there is some weights in the back of the car it's because it's had the diff welded up and there's hardly anything in the car which makes the back end extremely light and when I'm manoeuvring the car around on the gravel outside it's spinning up especially when I'm coming to bring it into the garage it uh, causes a bit of a nightmare trying to reverse it in so I put some weights in the back to weight it down um, I took a few out obviously and whatever else I had in here, I had a toolbox in here, I've took them out just while I've been working on the inside of the car. So while I'm waiting for that filler to go off, I'm probably going to get on um, and do a bit of sanding down. I'll get these this sanded down on here and that on there. There's a bit on the bottom of the door. And I'll get this slot here all prepped up as well. Um, sanded up, a bit of primer on it inside there so that's going to need sanding up a bit of primer on it once sealing up and then that lot will be ready for paint as well Right, I've just got things pushed on a bit and I've got this area masked up here. So I've got that primed and I've now sealed it up. So obviously that's where I've done the repair and welded some fresh metal in there, a bit of filler to tidy it up and, and some sealer on the back there, just to sort of blend into that sealer under there. This is what it looks like in here. So you can see I've sealed it all up in there. And I've just masked it up and I'm just going to drift some black paint over that now. That's looking a bit better. So that's all painted. I'm going to get a bit of wax oil in there and then I'll put that washer bottle in, um, clean the engine up a bit and get the cover back on and start getting a few bits on the car. Next, I am actually going to paint the inside of the car. So plans, they sometimes change as I'm working as sometimes it is quicker and better to do other things then what you planned to do um, on your journey of doing things. So 
I'm going to get inside there painted next. There's a few bits to seal up. And I'm going to tie it in with this back door, the back of this door rather. So that um, back door edge, I'll get that prepped up um, and seal it. And I'll paint the back edge of this door with inside here. So there's a bit of cleaning up to do, a bit of sealing to do first. Um, but yeah, I'm going to get cracked on and get this done next. So we're making progress. The floor's looking all nice, all painted up there. Looks um, spot on. Certainly a lot better than what it did when it was all rusted and rotten and there was a big massive hole there. You can see um, I've got that vent down there. Um, I fastened that in last night. I've took some of the masking sheet out. Um, I'll take this out next and my next job is to get on with this wing so today i'm going to get this wing finished so obviously i welded um well i made that bottom part of the wing didn't i that bottom wing section so i've made that just a bit of filler on there to tidy it up um, and then we'll get that primed and we'll get that in paint along with the side of the car something else i did last night before i locked up i put this in um, got the wiring rerouted 
and fastened in. So we're starting to, um, we're definitely starting to get there now. I'll get the front end built up soon as well. This car is soon going to be rolling out of this workshop. And it's been here a while now, so um, I've built a bit of a bond with it. I, um, I say I'd be glad to see it go, but I might be a bit sad to see it go as well. Anyway, let's get cracking. Well, I've been bashing on, haven't I? So I've got this door, um, started prepping this side, and I've got this door, um, I've, had to, I've primed it again on here, so it's gone through a bit in some areas, so I've just um, reprimed there and, and the bottom there. There was a bit of a repair to do on the bottom there. I've just used an aerosol primer. So this is a U-Paul high build, and if you watch my channel, I'm sure you've um, seen me show you this before that I've used on other jobs. So. Um, this is a decent aerosol primer, to be honest. It's um, the Upol power cans. It's quite thick as far as aerosol primer is concerned. I've been using it on this wing, um, and I don't know what paint's been on here, but I keep getting a bit of reaction on the wing edge. Don't know if you can see there. Um, I'll try and catch it in the light. I can't see very well with this little camera um, that I'm using. But there's been a couple, I keep getting a few reactions on the edge. So, um, probably going to find sand them out. Might have to put a little bit of stopper in them and then dust some primer over them again. Um, apart from that, we've got, um, got the back door prepped, the quarter prepped, partly prepped. There was some rust on the arch that I've sanded out and put some primer on. Um, I think the rest of the prep work I'll just do um, by hand, wet flatting. I've just put the uh, machine over that, my DA, um, the new DA I've got. Um, that's in the back room. So there's a DA, it's a Merca um, Daros setup with the extraction there. So I've just been using that. Um, yeah, what else, what else, what else? So inside, we'll go around to the other side. Look at that. It's looking a lot better in there, isn't it? So I'll put some sound deadening in there. So if you remember what this car was like, uh, if you go back through the videos, you'll see just how bad it was and I've rebuilt um, the floor section. And the... Um, sort of inner sill bits there as well so yeah it's um, starting to look really good now it's painted out and it's got the sound deadening pads in um, I'll give it a hoover out carpet once laying back down hoovering out that one's fastening down there that goes over the um, access panel to the fuel pump so that just wants fastening down first but yeah, it's starting to look quite good, it's getting there. Get the headlights in, or one headlight in, that one wants adjusting. The grills in, um, bumper on, lower front panel on. I've adjusted the suspension as well, because the suspension, it was really soft on the front end. Someone had it um, set for when they've been using it as a drift car. Um, or attempted to use it as a drift car, it's obviously been done out and set up for a drift car, I don't know if it's been used as one or not but um, I've stiffened up the suspension there just for loading purpose and when it goes back to the customer I'm sure he'll set it all up how he wants it so yeah continue with the prep work and then next I'll mask the car off again and onto some paint Anyway, I've been thinking, I was going to upload a full video this week of everything I've been doing to the car um, from start to finish to getting it, getting the car actually finished and getting it gone. But I think I've done enough video in this week on this car. I haven't got quite as much done as I wanted to this week, but I have been doing the lean to, the lean to um, a couple of jobs I've had to do on the lean to as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to end this video here and I'm going to do another video on this car of doing the paintwork 
um, and finishing the other bits and bobs of a job that I need doing and basically yeah getting rid of the car so I'm gonna end it where we are here and I'll hopefully see you in another video of this car this car getting finished completed and going back to the customer so if you've not liked the video please like it takes me a lot of time to make these videos and if you've not subscribed already please subscribe thanks for watching